Hi guys! Monarch butterflies are one of my favourite go-to things to paint, as they are so easy and relaxing to do. This piece is a fun one you could use for Halloween, and you could easily tie it in as an effy trinket look. Start off with Merin Orange to create the base shape for the butterflies. It's best to keep a reference image handy and try to copy the shape as best as possible rather than wing it. Keep the edges very rounded and the top pieces are also wider than the bottom. Scatter these shapes across your neck to create a collar like piece, thinking about overlapping the butterflies and slightly different angles. Using Marin Yellow, start to lighten the centre of each butterfly, but keep the outer areas orange. Then, mixing Sugar Pill Butter Cupcake and Melt Neon, intensify the colour and blend it out a little bit. With Sugar Pill Flame Point, darken the outer wing and blend. To detail each butterfly, I am using Merin Black and Fine Art Store brushes. I always start at the body and head before moving on to the outline. Take your time, as black is quite unforgiving, especially when working on a more complicated area, such as your neck. Rather than some butterflies that have a similar size top and bottom wings, the Monarch's top two are significantly bigger, so keep that in mind while you draw them out. Also make sure you think about that the bottom wings are curvy on the outside, but closest to the inside near the tail is straight. You may find that your lines leave a little excess base colour on the outside, but we'll clean them up. I wanted to darker the outer areas even further, so I used Melt Radon before moving on to detailing. The Monarch has three orange ovals on the top of each wing, so I am marking them out. Try to angle these rather than parallel like I have done on the first wing. I will adjust these ones a little bit later. Block out the black top areas of the wings with the sweeping curve, filling in the gaps around the ovals. I added a little bit more orange where I knew the oval should be, but I left this particular butterfly with only two ovals. It's okay to make mistakes, you're going to be the only one who really notices them. Continuing on to the rest of the black, I am thickening the outer areas of each wing, the straight bottom line of the top wing, and the outer areas of the bottom wing. However, keep the lines closest to the tail fairly thin. Moving on to detailing, I am using a size zero art brush to create sweeping lines from the top area of the wing to the middle of the body. Two slightly curved lines connect this one to the bottom. You want to create an almost petal-like look to the orange by curving the base of these lines. Then repeat this on the other side. Darken the lines if needed, then move on to the bottom wings. Each has a half oval like shape pointing outwards. Then you want to try and mirror the shape down into the black. Add two lines per wing on the outer edges of these ovals, following your reference pick, before once again curving out the lines to create petals in the orange. Using a damp brush, remove any excess orange before repeating this on every other butterfly on your neck. Using Inglot Freedom System 357 eyeshadow, I shade the bottom wing underneath the top to create depth. Create drop shadows on the lower butterflies so that some have the illusion of being higher up, before shading underneath any that are just over skin. Also as you can see by that dodgy looking butterfly on the right, it's super hard to paint anything too far back, so if you're wearing this out, I'd highly recommend having someone try to fix up any issues or cut it off a little bit closer in. Using a dotting tool, I am adding a little bit of orange and yellow to the top part of each butterfly, before using Marin White to detail all the way around. These dots only sit on the outer areas, so don't bring them in too far. Also, if you don't have a dotting tool, just use a toothpick. Highlight the body of the butterfly by adding dots and lines before adding fine white lines and eyeshadow on the inner part of the wings for a little bit of depth. I just used Merin Ultra White setting powder as it was handy. Using the Kat Von D Trooper Tattoo Liner, add the antenna in. I decided I wanted to add some shiny butterflies to this paint, so I mixed Merin Metallic Powder in Gold with Sugar Pill Goldilocks and Inglot Duraline. Paint these exactly like you did with the orange as the base colour at the start and then make a few dots where I needed. Moving on to my face, I define my brows with Anastasia's Brow Wiz in medium brown. I generally work from the middle towards the tail before filling them all in. I cleaned it up with a little bit of concealer too. I used Kat Von D foundation for this, but on my face I was trying out the new Fenty Beauty foundation. I was pleasantly surprised with this one. 
The colour is a little bit light for me, but it feels so good. After priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion, I used Clementine from the Kat Von D Pastel Goth Palette to create a base shade. I couldn't work out exactly what I wanted at the time, so I then mixed Sugar Pill, Butter Cupcake and Flame Point over the top and further into my crease. Once happy with the tone, I shaded the outer corner with Melt Radon before blending it under my eye and up into the crease. Using the Kat Von D Trooper Tattoo Liner, line your eyes before creating the outline of a butterfly wing coming from the corner. You basically want to follow the same principles as the pieces on the neck, but super tiny. I started with the outline first, thickening the edges of the liner before filling it in with the same paint and shading with eyeshadows. If you have weepy eyes, just use eyeshadow or eyeliners instead. Doing pieces on such a tiny scale takes a long time to get the hang of, but practice makes perfect. Once you're done, finish the eyes with some mascara. Add some contour. Then I use the Peachy Love Trio from Anastasia to add some warmth. I then highlighted with an Ingot Freedom System shade. And then I used Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipsticks in a Go Go and Malice to finish the look. Topping it off with a little Anastasia. For the headband, I followed the same steps as the butterflies on a piece of cardboard with acrylic paint and markers. I then cut them out and used florist wire to adhere them to the old headband. I then arranged them to sit correctly and that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and thank you for watching. Happy Halloween!